Okay, so let me write the problem. Okay, so we have Okay, so we have three capacitors, A, B, and C are connected as follows. So A is 10 microfarad, 100 volts. Then we have um, B, 15 microfarad, 150 volts, and C is equal to 25 microfarad, 200 volts. They are connected in parallel with terminals of the same polarity. So, what is the voltage across the combination? Okay. So, we have our solution. So, we have three capacitors connected in parallel. now three capacitors so we'll connect the, these three in parallel okay so we are going to solve for the voltage across this one so this will be our unknown this will be our E then we have for capacitor A this is 10 microfarad so it, uh, it is being charged so that is our decap the voltage across this capacitor which is 100 volts then for capacitor B this is equal to 15 microfarad so the voltage across it or the voltage on it which is charged by the capacitor um, and charged by 150 that is the voltage uh, charging the 150 uh, 15 microfarad capacitor then let's see this is 25 microfarad is being charged by a 200 volt source okay then we have the individual charge so we have qa then we 
we have here QB and we have here QC and the total charge which is QD okay so we will solve for the voltage so when this with the three uh, when, the, when these three are connected in parallel so their voltage will normalize and we have equal voltage which is e and that e is what we are going to solve so first we know that um, the total capacitance is equal to the total charge over the voltage across the combination or the voltage of the source okay so in order for us to solve for e so we are going to solve for e so e is equal to the total charge over the total capacitance so basic algebraic manipulation so first we need to solve for the total charge and the total capacitance in order for us to solve for the e okay so for the total capacitance so it is very easy because it is a parallel connected capacitor so that is the sum of the capacitance of each branches so we have a plus b plus c which is equal to 10 microfarad plus 15 microfarad plus 25 microfarad and this is equal to so we have 15 plus 20 that is equal to 40 plus 10 that is equivalent to 50 so we have 50 microfarad now we are going to solve for we are going to solve for the total uh, charge okay so we know that total charge qt is equal to the sum of the charges on each branch so we have qa plus QB plus QC so we have then solving for QA so that is equal to EA times the capacitance A plus QB so that is A E B times the capacitance B plus EC solving for charge C so times the capacitance C so these formulas are also taken from this one so the the main the main formula which is discussed on the past few videos the formula that the capacitance is equal to the charge over the voltage so basically this is the ohm's law of the uh, capacitance okay so we will substitute now the given so we have 100 volts is our ea times 10 microfarad plus EB which is 15 microfarad times B which is 150 volts then we have plus EC which is 200 volts times two, uh, 25 microfarad okay so we use now our calculator qt so, so, so that we can solve for qt so we have let's use the parenthesis so 100 times 
ten micro plus fifteen micro fifteen micro times one fifty plus two hundred times twenty five micro okay so our total charge is equal to 8,250 micro so 8,250 micro colon okay so we have now our CT and our QT so we could substitute that one here so that we could solve for the voltage across the combination so we have QT is equals to 8,250 micro column over our total capacitance is 50 microfarad. So solving now for E. So E is equal to, so we'll use our calculator again. 8,250 micro column over 50 micro farad and we have 165 and the unit for voltage is volts we have 165 volts and that is our answer for this problem